Today I'll be showing you how to get any type of equipment, from normal equipment to awakened equipment. But before doing all that, you first need a lot of zenny. You can get it by going to events and playing this specific event over and over again. But before doing all that, I recommend to do this on the weekends. The reason is by doing this event on the weekends, you will also get gold bars. With gold bars, you can exchange them for zenny. The reason why you need a lot is because upgrading equipments can take a lot of resources. So by doing it on the weekends, you can get double the amount. After you get a decent amount of zenny, now you are going to search what equipments you want to get. I'm guessing you already have one since you're watching this video, but just in case. There's two ways to find equipments. The first one is by selecting your character and pressing the recommended section. But sometimes the recommended section doesn't show you all the best equipments for your specific character. So the second way to find equipments is by pressing on archive and searching equipments for a specific tag. After you have decided what equipment you want to get, you're going to find it and try to get the equipment with the first slot being red. I recommend to use skip tickets because this will take you a lot of time. Or you can also use exchange coins if you have the option. If you don't, then just use skip tickets. Now the big question is why do you need it to be red? Long story short, having the first slot red means that the first slot is almost perfect. If you end up getting a yellow slot, that means the equipment is not perfect, but has a really high percentage. Just look at it this way. If you want to have an easier time getting godly equipments, you should always get the first slot red. If you don't really care about godly equipments and you just want it to be Z+, then you can get it yellow. But in my opinion, I recommend you to get it red. In case in the future you want to have godly equipments, you will feel like a clown knowing that you wasted so many resources because the equipment can't be godly. But let's continue. Now that you have your equipment, you're going to upgrade it. If you're extremely lucky, you might get one of the slots yellow or red, but realistically, you're not going to get it. So this is when you use erasers. Erasers are the only item in the game that can be used to re-upgrade equipments, or you can use CC. I don't recommend doing that unless you spend money on the game. If by any chance you ask, how do you get erasers? First, you can buy them on the shop with real money, or like majority of people, you can get them by playing the game. When I mean by playing the game, I mean by playing PvP and other modes. Some modes will give you some type of currency that you can exchange for resources, but the best way to get erasers is by playing raids. We normally get one raid per month, or depending if we have some type of celebration, we can get multiple raids that month. If there's no raids available, you can check on every single exchange shop and see if they have erasers to get. Now that you have erasers, this is when you re-upgrade the equipments until you get it yellow or red. This is the part that takes a lot of time and resources, unless you're extremely lucky. But normally, you're not going to be lucky. But let's say you're being extremely unlucky. This is when you can do the following. Instead of waiting to get a yellow slot or red slot, you can check the max percentage of the equipment and try to get a high number close to the max percentage. Then you will press the secure upgrade section and you can use erasers or CC to guaranteed an upgrade. But remember by doing this you will burn a lot of your erasers. But let's say that you do end up getting a yellow slot. You can do the same thing and go to the secure upgrade section and upgrade the equipment until the slot turns red. Now you repeat the same process with the other slot. If you are lucky, your equipment may get the godly symbol while having the last slot yellow. Since godly means the equipment is perfect, that means that the yellow slot is extremely close to being red. And congratulations, your equipment is now godly. Now let's go over on how to get awakened equipments. Awaken equipments are normally the best type of equipments in the game. So it's going to ask you to get a lot of resources. Some of those resources, you can only get them every two weeks. But be careful, because some Awaken equipments are a little old and normal, or even Plat equipments have the same stats or even better. Now you're going to do the same process and find what type of Awaken equipment you want to get. Now that you have decided what Awaken equipment you want to get, you're going to need a lot of Rush Coins. Rush Coins are the only type of currency that you can use to get Awaken equipments. And how do you get Rush Coins? You get them by playing Ultra Space Time Rush. If you're lucky, you may see more events that can give you more Rush Coins, but we normally get them on special occasions. After you played this mode, and you accumulate a lot of Rush Coins, you can now buy Awaken Equipments. But again, remember this event resets every two weeks, so make sure that the Awaken Equipment you want to get is the one that you actually want. Now you're going to search the Awaken Equipment, and you're going to buy five of them. After that, you're going to the Equipment Awakening section, and select the Equipment. Now that you are here, the game will ask you to use other type of resources. You can get these two items by exchanging the Rush Coins, or by exchanging Fragment Metals. But just in case someone asks, how can you get Fragment Metals? You can search on the Exchange Shop and go on every shop and see if they have them. Since this item is technically new, 
you will have a difficult time getting them. The game will also ask you to get the normal equipment for this Awaken equipment. You can press the same button, and I recommend you to get at least 100 of those equipments. After you get them, you're gonna fully upgrade those equipments. But don't worry, you don't need to use erasers or anything. Now that you have all the needed resources, this is when the real show starts. Trying to get good Awaken equipments is one of the most tedious process in the game. The reason why is tedious is because you're trying to get the first lot to be read, but the same way that can take you a lot of tickets for a normal equipment. For Awaken equipment is the same thing, but with limited resources that are extremely tedious to get. But now you can select all the requirements or you can press auto, so the process can be a little more faster. And you're gonna keep going until the first slot is read. You finally got a good slot, but the slot is yellow. Normally yellow slots means that you won't get godly, but let me tell you that there's a high chance that this yellow slot could turn into godly, what I'm about to tell you. You can also apply it to every equipment you have. So if you have old equipment, and you're not sure if they can turn into godly, you can do the following. You will divide the percentage you got with the max percentage of the first slot. If you get a 0.93%, that means that this equipment can turn into godly. But the downside is that the other slots has to be at max percentage, so you're gonna end up using a lot of resources. Now what you're seeing here is how many times I awaken this equipment, so you can have a good idea how much resources I ended up spending to get one good slot. Remember a lot of the resources that you need, you're not able to buy them, you can only get them by playing the game. Out of all the C equipments I got, only one can turn into godly. So believe me, this was a pain to get. Now we are going to repeat the same process of awakening and re-rolling this equipment. As you can see, all the slots are yellow. But like I said earlier, since this equipment is barely touching godly, that means that I have to upgrade the last two slots to have a perfect percentage. So I'm gonna secure upgrade until I get them both red. If the first slot was red, I would continue with the other slot and try to get it red. But since I need a perfect percentage, I need to use more slot removers and more resources get it perfect. Like I said earlier, that's the reason why I recommend you to get the first slot red so you don't end up using more resources. As you can see, the last slot is fully maxed, so now I just need to max out the middle one and this equipment should turn godly. And that's everything that you need to know on how to get high equipments, or basically godly equipments. Remember, only yellow slots that have a 0.93% can turn godly. Some equipment may turn godly if you have them at 0.928%, but just to be safe, make sure that is 0.93%. So you don't end up using a lot of your resources and the equipment doesn't turn godly. Hope this helps. Subscribe for more guides. Thanks for watching.